Hi everyone, Sandra here. It is March 9th, 2022. Behind me, you can see our 1965 truck camper. And in the video today, we are going to be talking specifically about the jacks on our camper, which we modified. Because this is an older camper, it doesn't fit, it isn't made, it wasn't designed to fit into a modern truck. It was designed for 1960s size trucks and the jacks were too low and too narrow the way they were mounted on the camper. So Dave devised a bracket system to fix that problem. And we've had so many questions about this that we are going to show it in detail. Yeah. All right, Dave's here, and he's going to describe this to All us. Right, when we first got this thing, it had three jacks. And these brackets were all the way in flush. And then this bracket here attached to this bracket, so this wasn't here. This black piece is what we made. But we needed to widen it out more and we needed to raise it up higher because the new trucks, the newer trucks are bigger. So what I did was I moved these brackets the, that come on the, the camper. That's this part, this part here, here that he's talking about. I moved about. them out about two inches from where they were. And then I built this bracket here out of two inch by two inch square tubing. It's got eighth inch wall. And I attached them together with this three eighths threaded rod and I put a spacer in between so they'd be the perfect distance apart. If you don't have the spacers, it can possibly twist on the bolts. You know, they twist like this. But then I just drilled more holes lower here, four more inches. So I went out four inches and down four inches. We leave this bracket on the jack and we disconnect it from here when we take it off. We had it up on three jacks. It just seemed kind of tippy, and the jacks seemed like they were kind of like bowing out a little bit, the one on the one side. So we went to four, and they still kind of bow out a little. It's hard to keep this a steady weight, you know, on each one. You kind of move it around. And... Okay, so I walked around to the other side of the camper just to, uh, it's better light over here. It's in the shade, so the sun's not messing with us, but I'm just zooming in here to sort of uh, give you a real close-up look at what we're talking about. We bought this piece as like a one single piece and cut it. We have got, you know, you got to have the right tools to be able to cut metal or find someone who can do that for you. Um, underneath here, you added extra plate or piece of wood or something too, right? Yeah, just to get it straight. Because the, the lip was hanging down here. Mm -hmm. um, Dave was mentioning that you need to use like, what the bolts should be at least. The bolts that you attach to the camper should be at least like a 3 eighths probably, or even a half inch bolt. These so you're talking here. about these yeah. in here, okay. And use washers, and double up the plywood on the inside and the outside, and use fender washers. The more surface area, the better. You got to be able to really grab a hold of the wood. Right. You don't want your bolts to pull through anything. You know? Then these bolts that hold go through here, they're big. I don't even know what them are. They're like, like five ace bolts. And it's a pain in the ass getting these bolts tight and stuff. This isn't the perfect setup, but it works. You know, I just trim these off to get rid of sharp edges and maybe make them a little lighter. The spacer is just a piece of small pipe, like half inch inside diameter pipe, three eighths inside diameter or something. I don't remember. You could use either. And that just strengthens yeah, it, the entire well, situation. Apart, yeah. Yep. Just stiffens it all up. So this is one of the old jacks and we'll walk around. So we were saying that this camper in the beginning was a three jack camper. And what that meant was there was one jack in the middle on this side and then two jacks the same way it is right now on the other side. And uh, yeah, we just didn't feel that that was as secure. So we added this third or fourth jack. This is the new jack. I think I ordered it off of Amazon. 
It is, the brand is Ryko Products Incorporated, Titan, Ryko Titan. It is not, it doesn't seem as sturdy as the old jacks, which are, they have Sears um, branding on them, but so far so good. I mean, it works. Now I'm inside the camper. Oh, this is the bed area, that's the, like the front. And I'm showing you what the corner where the jack is attached looks like on the inside. Dave added some plywood in here um, just to give it extra strength. You can see he's got washers on everything. Well, that pretty much wraps up what we can share with you in detail about how we modified the jacks on this 1965 Reddale truck camper. Dave is doing a diagram that I am going to put into the end of this video that will hopefully also further illustrate um, how this was done. And if you still have any questions or comments about it, leave them down below and uh, we'll do our best to reply to you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.